In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and actually use your brick most effectively. You can see right here, this is the brick, this is the package it comes in. And when you open it, it'll basically give you a QR code as well as this document to basically show you how you can actually use your brick. But if we put that aside, we can simply just take out this brick like so. There's nothing else in the box. There's no need to charge this or anything. This simply functions wirelessly. And if you actually get your phone, like I've done so here, you're actually going to want to go into the Google Play or App Store and get this app called brick and after you've gotten the app I'm going to show you how to connect this but you basically open up the app and you want to click in the sign in or get started we want to click on get started since we just got our brick for the first time and have never used this app and once you've actually entered in the code for brick you basically want to select all of the apps you want to limit this is how you actually set up your brick now setting up apps to limit you want to click on continue so it can actually view your permissions screen time and disable you from using this app when you're actually using your brick and you can see right here on the screen are basically all of the different apps that you can actually select to allow when you're using the brick or just disable when you're using the brick personally i'm going to just disable literally every single app except for maybe text messages and mail on the next option in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and you can see right here when we actually click on the next option it'll basically bring us to this this page you can see all of the apps that I've actually blocked just on the simple list like so these are apps you are not allowed to use when you're actually tapped into your brick which is basically when you tap your phone to the brick so you can activate not using distractions I'll show you how to connect it and do that too but you click on complete setup and then you can actually see once you actually click on the brick device option you can basically just scan your phone to your brick right here you can see I just want to pick up my phone and then click on the brick just put it on the very back of it like so and you can see it'll simply connect your brick to your phone and you can see right here i'm now on brick time there will be this timer basically which will basically display for how long you've actually been locked in for and if you do want to unbreak your device all you have to do is you click on this unlock device right here and then you basically want to take your brick it's probably going to be on a refrigerator a cabinet or something like that because you can actually add adhesive or it's magnetic so you can just put it on that and then you just want to tap it on the back like so and it'll easily unlock your phone so you can use all of the apps that you've actually blocked using this handy gadget and just over here on the activities page you can view how many minutes or hours you've actually been using your brick today and you do have five emergency unlocks so you can go to the settings and basically unlock it wherever you want the only reason you'd actually use one of these is if you actually went to the airport where your phone bricked up but other than that there's literally no reason to unbrick your phone because you only get five of these for your lifetime of using bricks so once you're out of them you're done so if you brought your phone on vacation and don't have any more excuses to actually unbrick your phone but basically you just tap your phone against this and that's how you unbreak and break your device. Now when it comes to where you should actually put your brick is I recommend putting this further away from where you're actually doing your reading, work, or whatever you're actually trying to take back your time for. Now personally, I'm going to put mine over here. Further from your desk, the better, the harder it is to access and just activate your phone again. But you could also put it on your refrigerator, outside the room, literally outside. I don't know if you want to do that, but you could do that. But once your brick is in place, you can simply just tap your phone, you click on the brick device just on the screen like so and then you just tap it against there and it simply starts your brick time you can see your hours and minutes it's basically a nice thing because you can be motivated to work harder and if you do want to unbrick it you simply click on the unbrick just on the home screen of the brick app tap it on the brick just on like the camera icon just on the back side and yeah that's all you need to do to use the brick if you found this helpful consider liking the video and happy working honestly have a great bricked up day